It's a powerful, naturally aspirated engine. Yes. What it ends well, there? Actually, yes. yes. What we're looking at. What? It, how? What would you call that? Three feet? Yeah. Three feet of car that you didn't need. It's, it's mid-engine. It's, it's got an it extension. Could have ended there. Yes, but it looks better. Look at the look at the size of this. All of this is spare. It's, it's got a an extension. Huge. It's a sock down your underpants, is what it is, with a big extra bit added on. Do hop in. Oh, brown. That's it's a nice that's, brown. It's oh, that's tan. very brown. It's like climbing into a nap. This is why I like this car so much. Hammond, just close the door now before you set off. Ah. Um. <laughs> I need to stand. Yeah, but then I'm going to brain myself. Two, Can one, you... go! Can you not press a little button? Yeah, that, no, 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 no. It's all manual. Buttons just break. But do you know what? They're going to start selling a strap for short people to be able to close the doors. Who's going to tick that box? It's Who's like, going to... It's I'm like... a shorter. It's like buying small condoms. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's small, that. isn't it? <laughs> also, I'll just get in the boot. boot a boot with my luggage in it. There is room in the back for, and I'm sorry to say this, golf clubs. Yes, there is. And they will go in the back. Yes, they will. They will be used. Are you suggesting that people who play golf drive yes. this? Yes. And not Porsches and Ferraris? This will be outside every golf club, possibly in the captain's or chairman's bay. This appeals to someone who is five. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's kind of atmospheric. It is atmospheric. And I've done some research on NASCAR. Of the 20 most watched sporting events in history, 17 of them are NASCAR. Really? So in America, that's what. No, they're... no, in the world. So oh, including. In the whole world? Yes, yeah, single sporting events like World Cup finals and things like that. Even though only Americans are watching, yeah. really? It's enormous. Really? It's the stadiums. I mean, this is a tiny stadium, but you, okay, you know Wembley, that seats 90,000. Uh -huh. Arsenal, that's big at the Emirates, that's 60,000. So you know Indianapolis, they have a NASCAR event there. Seating capacity, 260,000. Really? That's 1% of the whole country, isn't it? It's enormous. But we know nothing have about ever, it. Have you been to a NASCAR event ever? No. Have you ever have watched you? one? No. no. I've never seen, apart from Days of Thunder. Whoa. Well done. Well done. I think that we don't need to do any more driving. You ever? sure? Do yeah. We do, some more, do some more between No, the I think that's it. World. I think we can go home now. So there we are. The, uh, the SLS is the best, as we've proved. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's evident by the fact that it's, it's broken. Yeah, you, because, you want to go home? Uh, torque. Let's just talk about the torque, which is what damages the tyres. I've just done some research. Really? Some more? Yes, I have. Yes. Torque. In, uh, in your car, 317 torques. Plenty. Uh, you've got 398 torques. This has 479 torques, the result of which is a shredded tyre. I wish I had that many torques, cos I'd love that on my car. However, there was, in fact, a long way to go, which meant I needed to replace the ruined tyre. For the actual race, we decided to ditch the launch controls and do the start ourselves. All that remained then was to be briefed by Hammond on the start procedure. So you grief forward slowly <coughs> until you've got both of your yellow lights lit. Once you both have them lit, you'll get a green light and you go on the green. Right. OK, if we're ready, forwards. The lights will come on. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Whoa. Right, stage, I'm in. Keep going, keep going. There. Just the no, 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 that's not it. Bloody Nora. All we're trying... You stop when your front wheels are here. It's just a bloody straight line. <laughs> right. Got it. Americans can do this. Here we go. Go! <laughs> Are you Amish? Mennonite. What's the difference? The Amish separated because the Mennonites were too liberal. Oh, so you're quite liberal. You watch TV and things. Oh, yes. Are you got a car or do you go around in a horse and cart? I own a car. You've got a car? Mm -hmm. No, no Amish would have a car, would they? They do before they're baptized into the Amish church. They, they will have driver's licenses, they will drive cars, and... 
uh, it's, there's an old saying, they always hide them in the barn and under, under haystacks. Well, we all saw Witness, he had the Volkswagen Beetle in the barn. I remember that, <laughs> in Harrison Ford. When you get married, you're officially in the Amish church, and you can no longer drive a car. And the Amish generally, the young kids, the young Amish kids would drive... Ford Mustangs. They are really, oh, they're, they're into their horsepowers and so on. Yes. So the Amish carriages, they got batteries in them. They do. It is required by state law that they have headlights and flashers. And they will turn them on at dusk and turn signals just for safety. I mean, here's one now. So that, oh, I see the box underneath it has got a battery in it. Yes. We also have more expensive models with stainless steel beds. How, how expensive is one of those? Around fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. You could buy a Honda for that. Oh, I know. Why but they use cars. It, it's when you get married, you like to start out with the best, and well, you can that's always, a car. It, it, it with is a car. hundreds of horsepower rather than one. Oh, but this has to last you your entire life. You that will last a lifetime. You do not get rid of it. It's it's basically you owning a Ferrari. That's their version of of riding in luxury. After lunch, we made a small detour to Washington, D.C. We go to Washington. Aging to be a tourist, but can we go and see the White House? Uh, Hammond, don't you watch the news? The White House got knocked over by an aircraft carrier. What? Yeah, huge tidal wave and an aircraft carrier smashed into it and the White House was knocked down. The White House? Yeah, you well, remember the Capitol building? Well, they got hit by when the aliens came. I never heard about that. You're joking. About 10 years ago, a huge alien spaceship came to Washington and it blew up the Capitol building. Honestly, you should watch the news. Not only was Hammond baffled by recent news events, he was also surprised at what the capital of the United States looked like. Uh, is anybody else feeling slightly conspicuous in their car? Mmm. Not looking anyone in the eye. I'm not looking anyone in the eye. If it's a small dog, I'm not here making a noise. Just minding my own business. I've selected the bumpy road setting for my suspension. What about the bulletproof setting for your windows? There's that man walking along playing with his testicles. The population here a few years ago was eight, nine hundred thousand. Now it's down to five hundred thousand, around the same as Sheffield. Uh, and the reason for the decline is uh, almost everybody has been murdered. Mm -hmm.